boy. Hell? Lord. Aren't you going to hell? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Oh. Sure. I could have been stuck here. Oh, man. Starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. You killed your oh. horse, bruh. What'll I tell Mildred? <laughs> That's well, between you and Mildred. Thank you. Oh, I could take her home. I'll take you home, girl. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. You oh, trying geez. to ride with a Mister, real nigga? Please. Thank you. Hurry up. I ain't got all night. Do you know Valentine? Get I live there. on the horse. No problem. Yep. See, you don't need to be out here on the horse at night like that. See what you did? You almost broke your junk off. Your legs was smashed. And if this real nigga hadn't came past you, you'd have been on your own. Especially with them niggas that were just shooting at me for no reason. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. What they got to I do with me? I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now. And it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. Well, you're not making it when I'm a horse, because I ain't taking you. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... Odd. Just be this nigga's gonna go head on with me on his horse. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. Sure sounds like oh, that's gonna be some bands coming out your pocket. You just killed somebody's horse? It's the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. So. We're close now. Just a little further. More. See, now when I take you in this house, I want to know what's going to happen with her. Because you just killed somebody's horse. You know, that's, that's a little bit of bread. That's a whole horse. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. You're going to pay a nigga? A ring. Take care. Oh, great. Get away from my horse. Real trap shit. Trapaholics, we make it look easy. Fuck with your boys. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Alright, y'all, we are back with more Red Dead Redemption 2. And really, I don't have a really intro, uh, so I'm just gonna hop into this one. I ain't no such thing. Perspective, new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. 
by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. We By robbing marriage. his cousin? <laughs> this man don't care about nothing. <clears throat> Really? Ah! Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Oh, you better keep up. I'm not going slow. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. He is the one I have to do that stupid bear with. <clears throat> that bear should have ate him up. played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. No, I don't have a hat. I'm not supposed to ask him something. How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Alright. Yo, my man, what happened to you back there? Hey, hey let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. All right, but you know how I'm going in. Where am I? Hold on. Whoa. Let's see what we're dealing One with. One second. Come on. My horse got my um my shoddy, whatever this is. Man, why I gotta walk so slow though? There's the house. Yeah, we're in. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. All right, let's go get it then. We wait no. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Monoculars. What the egg are you supposed to even be looking at? Look at the home through your binoculars. Anyone around? There's a whole dude yes. right there on, on the porch. So okay. what do you mean? I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over. Distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. <laughs> or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? No. We doing it now. Let's do it now. Sure. Real niggas do it now. Alright then. Don't follow me. <laughs> then what am I supposed to do? Hang back. Okay. Outside, then sneak into the house. All right, I'm gonna go hop behind his wood then. And I hope they tell me when to go in, cause I'm probably not gonna be paying attention. I got chickens. I gotta steal that man chickens on the way. Alright, say no more. Get down. This nigga gonna start standing up. I'm taking everything. Take everything. I want all of it. Man, give me that. I don't even know what that is. So watch. 
They better have like some gold in here or something. Got a platinum band. I really don't have much in here. I'm broke. Wait, never mind. It's another. Alright. Probably supposed to be being quiet, but this nigga kicking the dresser. <clears throat> I can't take the snake oil? Okay. I don't got nothing in here for real. That. I don't got jack on this table. With some cheese and some bread. Y'all are not eating good. It seems like there's more people pulling up outside. They got money clips and crap with no money in it. There we go. Just need a few more things and then we out. I'm gonna take the apples from my horse. <clears throat> Man's gotta eat. Try got in there some plates. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's right here? Let's take the bourbon. Alright. Is he starting arguments outside? I need a few more dollars, but... I feel like something's gonna happen before I get it. And some of this stuff ain't counting. Get to the barn. Okay. I ain't even take nothing for real. Like all the all the stuff I could have took. Like I feel like I didn't get nothing. And like, we should have knocked a bed over or something. I got these loud behind plastic doors. Get woman. Chill out. Need to get to the barn. Watch you be heck of niggas over here. Open the door. Look at her getting caught on barrels. Hey, that's a good long way. Oh yeah, this junk nice. It's on. You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's yeah, I didn't rob everything. They really didn't have much in there. Yep. Well, I'm not going to drive past the front door, of course. Should have drive through the fence, but you know. <clears throat> That's something else. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> I closed the dresser. Well, I guess that didn't make a difference. Left my horse back there. Should let this man drive so I can get on my horse. We gonna get caught. Damn it. I think you should have been more careful. Slow what you mean? Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. I closed the dresser. So I left oh left I left the, the cabinet open. Few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. I got Take some apples for me and my horse, not you. This was easier than a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, Robin is definitely better. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Hmm. Slow down, you you'll burn out the horses. You ain't like I want to be out here so long. Talking about burning out the horses. My horse is real. Okay, here we are. 
Just pull the coach into the barn there. Oh, we going in full speed. I guess not. Never mind. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. I'm robbing your kid, folks. here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. <clears throat> you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Sure. Are they gonna cut Cena's back on? Okay, that's lit. Well, I'm going to do this while they're not talking. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you all subscribe and hit that like button. Leave plenty of comments because I do read them. And I'm trying my best to reply to all of them. Make sure if you have subscribed but you're not getting notifications to click that little bell. Because you won't get notifications unless you click it. And thank you for watching. Mr. Morgan.